Welcome back to Ansible's. It looks like EVK had a major breakout today, up over 100% on the day. I'm going to go over exactly what has to happen for this one to continue and exactly where you guys can find these news alerts so you guys do not miss any of them again as EVK did have news this morning in pre-market and we did alert this one in the Ansible's. I'm going to show you guys exactly what that looks like. And the only thing I ask return for this is you guys smash that like button and hit subscribe if you guys want to see more chart updates on potential breakouts that we mentioned throughout the week. So let's jump into this one. So I'm going to go over EVK with you guys and exactly what has to happen for us to continue going to tomorrow. But I do want to mention that we did alert this one really early in the morning in pre-market and we have been continuously breaking out since then. We also did mention multiple plays like VXRT and pre-market. We also mentioned MDIA when they had their halted play. They jumped up about 20% after that halt. We had multiple plays that we mentioned throughout the week. So if you guys want to see all our penny stock breakout alerts throughout the day, go to instables.com in the description below. You guys will never miss a penny stock breakout alert throughout the day. But however, as you guys can see here, we have been on quite the run with EVK. And we have been consolidating around this $5 area. But I do want to mention one specific thing about this five minute chart is that we do have the 20 MA that is curling down here looking to see if we can hold above the 50 MA again, we could come down below the 50 MA and possibly bounce back above the 50 MA and possibly have a run tomorrow. If we do break into new highs, in my opinion, breaking over $6 and 23 cents would be very key for us with the body of the candle. But again, we do need volume going into tomorrow. We did have a major breakout because of news. So in my opinion, we need to make sure we do get confirmation on this volume. If we do break above our previous volume point, then we would have more confirmation on this bullish momentum to move but however as you guys can see we have been decreasing in volume looking to see if we can continue and as you guys can see here on the macd we do have the ema lines that are holding below the macd showing us that we might have a continuation sell-off we also do have an increase in sell pressure after we did have some buy pressure that came in we got a double top on this buy pressure and we did have a continuation sell-off looking to see if we can get more buy pressure going to tomorrow but as you guys can see here evk has been on quite the run so i'm going to back up to the four hour here so you guys can see exactly which levels we're trying to break above if we do break above with volume and we do break above this volume point that we do see here so as you guys can see here on the four hour, we do have a very specific resistance that we are getting rejected multiple times at. We could not break the body of the candle multiple times above this point. It's $6.49 is very key. You guys can see way back in this chart in March 30th of 2015, you guys can see we have been consolidating back here multiple times and we did have a continuation sell-off since then. And we have been consolidating since then, looking to see if we can break above and possibly have that major breakout that we're looking for. So in my opinion, we have been having a lot of consolidation. We could have that major breakout, but we need to make sure we do increase in volume going to tomorrow and make sure we do break above the $6.50 mark, in my opinion. If we do not break above the $6.50 mark with the body of the candle, in my opinion, then we will have a major rejection like we did see previously in this chart. And as you guys can see, we did have a nice run today. So again, we are going to definitely be careful always after having a huge run, especially when we break up as much as we have been. And we're looking to see if we can get the 20 MA to still hold above the 50 on the five minute. So I definitely would be careful. Make sure we do get volume coming in tomorrow. But however, EVK still definitely on the watch as they have been coming in with volume and we have been consolidating around the five dollar area after the market has been selling off which could show us a lot of bullish momentum if we do get a volume spike going into tomorrow so we're going to see what happens but however with that said if you guys want to see all our penny stock breakout alerts throughout the day go to instables.com in the description below you guys will never miss a penny stock breakout alert that again and everybody that has been supporting the channel and everybody that has been in the comment section much love to every one of you guys as always and if you guys do like this video it does help other people find it and it does help the channel grow and I do appreciate it very much. And again, God bless you all. And I'll see you guys in the next video.